Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. A little bit back, I invited a bunch of fellow builders to a challenge. Now, the challenge was to build a muscle car or customize, modify a muscle car and add flames to it. But the catch was you couldn't use any decals. And this is just to help push the limits of folks to show you what can and can be done and obviously to have some fun. Now the rules are you must use an American muscle car, such as a Camaro, a Mustang, a Charger, a Challenger, Oldsmobile, whatever, okay? The car must have a flame paint job. You can't use any decals, which is the challenge here. It's due by 26 November, which is Thanksgiving Day. That's when you have to have your video posted. And hopefully, if you get everybody involved that wants to uh, participate, be able to post their links in the comments so you can go see their builds. Also, you can use any 164th casting as long as it's an American muscle car. And the biggest rule of all is to have fun. Let's go ahead and get started. As my muscle car, I decided to use an Oldsmobile 442. Now, I remember driving around in one of these cars when I was a teenager. My cousin had this car, and even though it was a wreck, it was something that I could drive, which was really cool. But I decided to use this car here. So let's go ahead and get this car apart and show you what we're working with and continue from there. I've already got the car drilled apart, so let's get it uh, pieced out here so we can show you what we got. I decided to use this Olds 442, and I tried experimenting with the dry erase marker to take the tampos off, but I thought that, you know, I really don't want to go that direction. I, I definitely want to do a full color switch. It's got a metal base, which I absolutely love working with the metal base. That's cool. We're going to do a wheel swap. Interior is good. We're going to leave that alone. And the windshield's got a bunch of scratches. So we're going to have to clean that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put the body in the embalming fluid. Now this is one of those Hot Wheels Classics cars. So it's supposed to look Spectre Flame, but... I guess if it's brand new, it looks pretty good. This is a, a loose car that I had, so I definitely wanted to try this. Knock off any excess there that you can. If you don't, it's just a waste. A lot of times I do this, and the forceps release, and it drops right back into the gunk. All right, let's let that set for a while. I snipped a little tab holding the wheels, and the wheels came out really easy. Just snip the one tab, and it came out. Now, sometimes you got to snip all three, but these ones came out pretty easy. I was pretty happy with that. I didn't have to wrestle around with it. Now, here's the wheels I want to put into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos. I want to use these wheels from Sam Ed Wheels. Now I definitely got a little bit of slack to take up on the axle, but the Sam Ed Wheels folks, I've bought wheels from over in Malaysia and they take weeks and now with the COVID thing going on sometimes months, but the Sam Ed Wheels I usually get in a few days. Now Enrique Sam Ed lives up in the San Francisco area, but he gets his wheels from Mexico and they're quality products and you should definitely check them out at Sam Ed Wheels and there'll be a link at the end of the video. Those things look absolutely beautiful. I love those wheels. Now what I'm pointing at there is on the front of the inside of the body there's a little tab that holds the wheels in place but sometimes I still want to glue it just a little tiny bit. Now you don't want to put a whole bunch of glue because it'll interfere with the tabs holding the body down onto the base. So be careful what you're doing there. 
Just a little dab of super glue will hold those in, right there where those pins are. I went ahead and I adjusted the axles and I glued the wheels in place. Those Samed wheels are fantastic. I love the way they look and these fit absolutely perfect. Now I did have to adjust the axle, but hey, sometimes you have to do that to make sure that you don't have a bunch of slop there. Looking good. I've already polished up the windshield here. Now we're going to dip it in the gauzy after I clean the windshield really good. Make sure you mix it really slow, just like this, because you don't want a bunch of bubbles in the jar when you go to dip the windshield in there, because if it dries with the gauzy, with the bubbles on it, then it's going to look like hell. So go ahead and mix it up really slow like you saw me doing there, and then take your tweezers and dip the windshield into the gauzy. Love this product. Now some people use the Future Floor Finish or the Pledge Revive, and that stuff works well also, and I have that too. But I have used the Gauzy and I've used the Pledge, and I just happen to like the results of the Gauzy better. And that's why I recommend it, and that's why I use it. Now if you want to try and find the Gauzy, I've got an Amazon Marketplace page where I've got a whole bunch of products on there that will save you the time of going and searching for these things and you can buy these on my Amazon marketplace page now I only make a few pennies off of this because I'm what's called an influencer but what I did there is I got a bunch of products that I use and then that way there when I talk about them you can go to my marketplace page and find them and order them easy so check it out I love how the moonlight shines over the mausoleum <laughs> the Amazon Marketplace page is in the comment section. Copy the link, post it, and it'll take you right to it. Now what I did for my flames here is I printed out some flames on some paper. Now I got one set there where my thumb is, and I'm going to use that on the hood. And I've got another two sets for the doors. Now what I did is I put down some masking tape. And then I put the paper flames over the top, and I'm going to cut out these flames with my sharp razor knife. And make sure you use a fresh blade. If you don't, all it's going to do is move the paper around, and you're going to get really frustrated. Here's the results after I hand cut the flames out. Now, they don't look too bad. Now, if you had a plotter, like a cricket machine or something like that, you could definitely cut these out. I have a plotter. But for some reason, my software is messed up, and I still got to figure it out. So I had to hand cut these. Well, let's get going on that. Now, I put the body of the car in the citrus strip, and it just didn't work on this particular paint. So what I did is I took off as much as I could, and now I'm going to spray it with the Tamiya primer. Here's the result of me spraying it with a Tamiya primer. And it covered up everything else pretty darn good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put down some color in order to get these flames going. Here's the color I'm going to use. I'm going to use these Createx Wicked colors with some balancing clear. And then when I put the colors on and let it dry sufficiently, I'm going to put the flames over the top to protect the colors and then spray over it in another color. I'm going to start with the yellow, work my way to the orange, and then use the fluorescent pink, and then I'm going to mix it with 4030 Balancing Clear. Like I said, start with the yellow, then go to the orange, and then go with the fluorescent pink. That's looking pretty decent. Again, when this is done, and it dries sufficiently, I'm going to put these flames over the top of the colors that I sprayed, and then it's going to leave the masking of the material, or the, the flames. Then I'm going to spray these colors over the top of the entire car to get the base that I'm looking for. I'm thirsty. First color we're going to put down is this fluorescent yellow. Now I apologize for my airbrush being in the way. I just didn't feel like setting up my spray booth. So again, I'm, I'm trying to work from a white 
to a yellow, to an orange, to a pink. So that's why there's a little bit of gap there of white in the very front of the yellow that I'm spraying. You're not putting down a lot of paint here, just enough for the color. And then you can use the air from your airbrush to dry this color. Now, since you're going to put another color behind it, like I said, let it dry just a little bit and then put the next color on. But you got to wait probably at least half an hour before you put that uh, those tape flames over the top because you don't want to pull the the paint color off. So now we're going to spray a little bit of orange and it's going to give you that faded look. There you go. And again, I apologize for the fuzziness there. That's looking good. A little bit there on the hood just to get that fade. That's looking good. Now let's go ahead and get that pink mixed up. It's a pretty damn bright color. It's uh, pretty crazy, but they're going to blend really well, I promise you. And this is just an idea. I mean, you can take any colors you want to. You could have just put a very light colored blue and then put the, the masking tape flames on there. And then go over it with the darker blue and get kind of like a ghost flame effect. And we'll cover that again in another another uh, episode. That's a really nice fade. Almost looks like a sunset there. Let's go ahead and get this back portion by the back quarter panel. That looks nice. That looks good. Let's go ahead and we'll let this dry, then we'll put the masking tape on. Okay, we let it dry for a while. Now we've applied the masking tape flames on there to cover up the color. Make sure it's laying down really well because you want to you want to have a seal there so it doesn't, uh, when you put this other paint on, it doesn't bleed underneath that tape. Now, the secret here is to spray lightly okay yes it's a water-based paint and it's going to dry quickly but you want to spray lightly because you don't want it to, to saturate it and have it bleed underneath that area there and that there folks is your tip today from your uncle Polly. we're going to do the front of the car in a light caribbean blue now this is createx paint and i got this paint from SprayGunner.com. Great folks down there in Tampa, Florida area, and they have got all kinds of paints and airbrushes and compressors, everything you can think of for your airbrushing needs. So go ahead and check out SprayGunner.com, and I recommend them highly. Their customer service is excellent, and they get the product out to you fast. So please check out SprayGunner at SprayGunner.com. Again, I'm using very light coats here because I don't want it to saturate and bleed underneath the tape because I want those flames to be nice and crisp. This is looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and move to the next color. Now we're going to use this opaque blue. I've got it all mixed up. And we're going to do the back half of the car in that opaque blue. And then we're going to fade it into the light blue or that Caribbean blue in the very front of the car. Like I said, folks, you can experiment with any colors you want to here. And again, all this stuff here I'm showing you, you can do this. It's fun, and that's what it needs to be, and that's what it needs to remain, is fun. If you start fretting over this or getting angry with it or like that, it's no longer fun, and you need to stop. Now, that's looking pretty darn good. I like that fade there. It fades from the dark blue to the light blue, and then we've got the fades of the colors. Pull the tape off, and this is what we got. 
Now again, this is an experiment, so you can do whatever you wish here and like I said, switch out the colors or the style. You don't have to have flames. You could have drips or just some streaks or anything like that. Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. After it dried for a while, I went ahead and clear coated it. Now I use the clear coat from the Redline Shop. Redline Shop stuff is fantastic for these die cast cars. And the Redline Shop, the stuff that John sells is not just for the Redlines. They're for modern cars too, but it's up to you. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to detail the front of the car up. Here I'm using a black Sharpie to fill in the grill and around the lights in the front. I'm going to use that fine tip and that's really cool with this fine tip because it fits in those little grooves. And we're going to do around the headlights and fill in all that area with black. That's looking pretty cool. I went ahead and I detailed the headlights and the turn signals. That turned out nice. I really like the way that looks. There's some side markers on the front fenders. I went ahead and detailed those up too. Now here's what we got. Here's the Oldsmobile 442 body with that custom flame paint job and clear coated. Here's the base with those beautiful Sam Ed wheels. Detailed up the taillights in the back. That looks excellent. Wow. Cool car. I'd love to have this. For real. Here's my windshield after it's been dipped in a gauzy. And here's the interior. Let's put it together and do our reveal. And here's what we started with. An Oldsmobile 442 classic Hot Wheel. We stripped the car down. We got the paint off of it. We primered it. We Put those wonderful Createx paints on there from SprayGunner.com. We put those beautiful wheels on there from Samed Wheels. And we just went crazy doing all kinds of uh, colors and everything to make a custom flame paint job. And I was pretty happy with the results. And here's what we got to. I'm pretty happy with this. I really like it. The dark blue to the light blue fade. The faded color in the flames you know for working with a 164th scale car i'm pretty darn pleased with this now again your imagination is up to you folks follow the videos that we do and please check out the videos from the other folks that are in the challenge and you won't be disappointed have some fun with this and do this yourself now Later on, I'm going to be doing a build and everybody's going to be invited. We're all going to get the same casting and we're going to do this step by step together. And I'll explain more in the future. Now, what really sets this off is those wonderful Sam Ed wheels. And I recommend you do a search for Sam Ed wheels on eBay. He'll get the wheels to you in a few days, depending on holiday mail season, of course. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals, tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful Redline tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com where Redlines come to life. I want to say God bless you on these uh, trying times this year. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family and great blessings for you and happiness throughout the rest of the year. So thank you for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And if you don't subscribe, please do. And please check out the builds of the other folks. We had a lot of fun doing this for you to entertain you on the holiday and enjoy and God bless. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This was a lot of fun and I hope you use some of the tips today that I gave you in doing your own customs. And 
please leave a comment and a thumbs up. I read everything, I promise. And share a picture with me if you can. The email is in the comments.